Assistant Secretary. Gary Ryan, he's the Head of Homeless, Ian Lyle Press, and uh, Lawrence Kelly, he's HR. And they basically said they're solving the crisis. First of all, they won't, they won't accept that there will be a declaration of an emergency crisis. No they're blank out saying they're not doing that. They won't announce that. That they are solving it. They're taking steps and measures which are solving it. And they've got a social housing policy, which was announced November, last November, which has done nothing. Which means 3,000 houses in four years. Which means nothing being solved. They announced a homeless solution. They, went back to that, which hasn't solved anything. They said they have to act within the law, so they're not willing, they'll turn over council properties, but they're not willing to do anything else about vacant properties outside of that. They said they'll talk to the minister about it, and, uh -huh. and they'd like our demands to talk to the minister. And we might possibly get a meeting with the minister at some time. Oh, wow. Well, is that your full? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. All the stories yeah. of everything that's been given, every crisis, everything, they barely recognise that there are families homeless. On a positive note, when Mary is homeless now on the 15th, we're going to bring Mary up here with the children. I hope we're bringing Marie as well. Yeah, I'm sure we'll bring yeah. And Anna, Mrs. Yeah. 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 Awesome. We're going to get some tents and we're going to put them out there on the lawn. Yeah, yeah. we're like to do that on the 15th. Yeah, great. So, yeah. that's, that's all we have to do. So, get the tents up. We have, we have gone to Dublin City Council. They've passed it on to the departments. Up to the department to solve the problem. And they which, said, and they, and they said it's, up, it's down to the ECC or it's up to the minister. Which basically means it's up to us to solve it. Yeah. Yeah. That it's not, yeah. it's not yeah. going to be solved yeah. by the minister. They don't want to solve it. It's not, they have no interest in solving it. They're it's not, not going to problem. solve it. It's not their problem. Yeah. They're not going to actually deal with it. They barely even acknowledge that the crisis is going to get worse. And we know there's going to be more homeless families. We know there's going to be no solution with the social housing program. So we're the ones who are going to have to we're on fight. The ground. We're the ones on the ground who are going to have to fight and going to have to put pressure on to actually solve it. It's as simple as that. I think we've been let us know your yeah. choice. We, we have come here today, we have tried the, the, the proper route what we're supposed to do, to let us know your choice. We have families coming to us every day. What else are we supposed to do? Time to open what up. What else are we supposed to do? Ah. Come back and walk every week. No. Okay. Did you ask them, what did they say about opening the uh, house? It's illegal. It's illegal to do outside council. Outside of council? No, council house. Council house and they're, they're moving they're on They're looking into that. House. They're yeah. moving on it. Yeah. How quick are they moving? Can't give us a time. Can't give us a time. Wouldn't give us a time. Wouldn't give us so it, it does well, take six months. Hour, when the house hour. closes to another another person to move in, that takes six months. Oh, so we need to get on to the council now. I've seen shocked of this on that. But the houses, due respect to them, whoever you were talking to, the houses that are there, that are being given back, 90% of them are livable straight away. I know there are certain things that they go in and want to put back. Take six months for Yeah. Them. Well, they'll have to just be told that that has to come down. And if that means it's taken over somewhere like here, Dublin City Council or whatever it is, and staying there, people have to be prepared to stay in where they are. There was a big, there was right? a big load of publicity a couple of years ago. And not go away. Uh, last year, yes. last year there was a big color blue of publicity. for the benefit and care from other people. Sorry, uh, there, there, there was a big color blue last year during the council elections, right? That, they were, they were, that the central government here were releasing funds so that local authorities could uh, renovate yeah. the existing yeah. housing stock. Because the problem isn't, as we all yeah. know, that the housing stock that is there, the flats on the houses, need a bit of renovation. But some and don't. Now, as far as I know, <laughs> right, that was a big colour blue during the elections. And only about six weeks ago, Dublin City Council have said they never got the money. The 51 million. We the, got is that, that 51 million? Yeah. You brought that up, and so that's good. That they never Where even released the bloody money. So it was all palaver. Uh, just to get back to the scan and have a meeting. Did they say about the meeting? They never actually got it. They never got it. Yeah, in relation to the violence. We're slaves, the CEO of the Council. And who were them people who you met? Who were, was the position? Assistant Secretary, 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 Assistant Secretary,
they were denying that they, that this uh, that 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 stuff was happening. They wouldn't acknowledge, even acknowledge that that's there, and they said they were solving it through the current measures. That's, that's level of entrenchment. Oh, the house is built to start camping out from tonight. They're profiting from the current convention. Did anybody happen to ask Rose Kelly or that lady or Lawrence or whatever, if that's a lot of the glass, would they not accompany one of these at night to see what exactly is happening, how yeah. people are living? That's a good idea. We, we, they said all they could give us was they'll look at our demands and they'll ask for a meeting with the minister. So and have you given them a time frame for that? We said we'd give the demand straight away, and they said they can't guarantee anything. They can't guarantee time frame for that or me.